Hey guys, good day. I got a bit of a shout out to do for you first here. Uh, Hammerson Peters contacted me in uh, one of my videos about Medicine Hat, the, um, the cliffs around Medicine Hat. And I took my drone up there last summer, or a couple summers, and uh, did some footage. And he is doing a documentary or doing something on uh, the Medicine Hat giant river snake of southern Alberta. So he contacted me, thankfully, and asked me uh, if he could use my footage. And uh, I said, you're more than welcome. Go for it. I even sent him raw footage, which he could uh, edit whatever he wanted to put in. So I'm very honored to be put in, uh, my, my footage to be put into someone else's video. Uh, Hammerson Peters, I'll put a link up above. And uh, go have a, check him out, guys. Go have a look. He does like uh, extensive, uh, I've seen extensive videos on there on Curse of Oak Island. If you know anything about Oak Island, this, I've seen, there's lots and lots of detailed videos on Curse of Oak Island there. Uh, he also does like Sasquatch um, uh, documentaries and things. So go check him out, guys. Great channel. And uh, thank you very much, uh, Hammerson Peters, for using my footage in your in your video there. All right, so the, the next part here is about the dark side of van dwelling. I've seen a lot of videos on the dark side of van dwelling. And in my opinion, it doesn't make it any better for people that are trying to get into the van dwelling. They see these videos and they think, oh my goodness, that's horrible. That's been around for years. Uh, van dwelling like that the the bad side it's been around for a long time it's not like it's just yesterday so let me just show you a first a couple of here I was walking down the street right beside Walmart here and I come across this uh, truck well look at it it's it's been looks like it's been sitting here for a long time and the trailer itself also has it, been sitting here for a long time there's no license plates on either of those uh, vehicles, <laughs> on either of those. Like, it's just amazing. Everybody knows that's illegal, yet they park here. They don't get no tickets. They're just parked here, for sure. And the pink guy here, he's been here for months. I would say probably a year. He was here when I left Vancouver back to Alberta, and he he's here now when I come back. So he's been here for a year. So I wanted to get away from that and get into the good side of van life. So I'm going to do a tour. And look at this. The baller bus. Look at this thing, guys. Big old schoolie bus. Has a uh, a wooden... What the heck is that on top there? Like a, uh, a deck or something? It, uh, and then the solar panels up on top. He's got a wood stove, I see. Um, and the solar panel's up on top there. My goodness. Now, see, this is how you, you're thinking about getting into van life, and let's have a tour of this thing. Just walking by, and I noticed, and I, I got a video of this. Yeah, for sure, <laughs> for sure, yeah. If you don't mind. But no, by all means. Yeah, I put yeah. it on my YouTube channel. Yeah, no, awesome. Yeah, it's, uh, it's on Instagram too. If you, if you uh, uh, you're not from Saskatchewan. Yeah. No way. Yeah. I'm not from Alberta. Really? Medicine Hat. Oh, nice. So the the emergency escape hatch. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Here, you, ca you can come inside. You can take a look. Well, uh, if you want. Do, do you mind being on? Huh? Do you mind oh, no, no, personally no. being on? Yeah. No. And fine. and uh, and what's your name? Liam Peters. Liam. Yeah. Handshake. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, I think if you don't mind, can I have a tour? Yeah. Sure. This is great. And I see you got wood stove. Yeah, put that in after. Uh, you gotta have heat. Well, Especially after from. The first uh, winter is like this is too cold. Yeah. Did you spend a winter in Saskatchewan? Uh, no, I haven't spent a winter. That's, I, that's why I'm here. Too cold in Alberta. <laughs> yeah, exactly that. My goodness. Been in the smaller ones. Yeah. This is a big. Can I keep my shoes on or? Uh, yeah, you can step on that. Right. Just on the carpet here is good. Yeah. Oh, wow. Oh yeah, we got enough light to pick this up. They actually, they don't sell the angle because they say it's not going to get a good draft. 
but I didn't I didn't want to put a new hole through my roof. Right. Um, You've gone through a window. Yeah. So it, it, I can actually take it all out. I can just unhook the stove from the mount here. Oh. And then uh, I can actually just remove it all. So in the summer, I don't actually need the stove. <laughs> this is great. Holy smokes, you got an actual electrical just like a house. <laughs> yeah, the, the RV, I mean, I was looking at, I actually got this before I looked at an RV one, but the RV ones are so small, it's, I was actually amazed. At Holy smokes, you could probably pump out some music here. Oh, yeah. The big uh, speakers. Wow, <laughs> I like the vehicle. What do you call it? it? Oh, it, but it's registered as a motorhome. Uh, yeah, but yeah. is it like a Ford or a... Uh, uh, international. International. Yeah. And a dual wheel on the back? Dub yeah, dual leaves, yeah. Okay, so this is a bigger one than I am used to. Yeah, so it's 54 pounds through, like a three-quarter size. You can bus. carry a bunch of stuff. Uh, yeah, here, let me just... Uh, uh, kitchen here. It's got a sink built in here. Um, stove, look at this. He's even got an oven, huh? Yeah, actually, I actually found... I would love the oven. A good, bake a good little loaf of bread, actually. I know, I'd love that. Yeah, I found out if you, if you ever do get an oven, you put some tiles in there, it helps... Uh, Where did you get those? Place the heat. Oh, just any, like, tile store. Yeah, you can take a look at the back. A, yeah, a this is the, the sleeping quarters. And then there's a washer on your left. No way! <laughs> this is fantastic. Nice, yeah. So I, I built it originally for... Uh, a shower! four guys to live in and we're pretty tall so the beds are all like half queens yeah you're a little bit taller than me you must be over six feet yeah <laughs> <laughs> yeah oh and look see look at the storage you got bicycle up there and this folds down to a bed i suppose yeah so there's two bunks there two bunks so two oh f four people here yeah. two bunks look at this <laughs> oh this is cool your kitchen area it's not quite like mine mine has always got stuff everywhere oh, mine does too i just recently cleaned this, this skin, size you know. of this fridge yeah yeah you were saying what yeah 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 that's well this is the fridge is one thing so when i was building it i was just reading up the number one reasons why rvs run down is because of propane fridges this is like, an electrical yeah, like 120 like, volts yeah and, and, so i was just like ah like that i was like well i saw enough pictures of rvs burning that i was like well i'll get an electric one and so, so off my solar. how much solar do you have up top? I I have six hundred watts right now. Okay, and that I think it should be a lot better. I started with four hundred. Yeah, and it was just you flat. always need more, don't you? Uh, what actually, about actually the tilt? The tilt actually makes a huge make, difference. I, I just put that up now this this summer, like a few weeks ago. Oh, you were telling was is that elect? Oh, you have to go up through yeah. some hat somewhere right here. Yeah. Oh, so this is this is my favorite part of the bus. <laughs> <laughs> No way. Look at that. It pulls this out here. And this pops up. And that pops up. And you can go right into the deck up top. And you can take your chair up there in summer and sit up there, I suppose. Yeah. Well, actually, there's two chairs just built into the front of the deck here. Yeah. Oh, uh, batteries. Kind of. How much battery power do uh, you have? I've got four golf carts. Oh, and so they're six volt yeah. ones. So four six volts, and then so two. But you have lots of amp hours that way, though. Yeah, about two hundred and thirty. Well, that's good. But so yeah, when I when we initially got the bus, like when I built it, this was three years ago. The tilting gives it me like almost twice as many amps, especially now because we're almost at, like, really the solstice. that much more. Yeah, because I mean we're almost in the middle of winter, and so yeah, I think we're at fifty three degrees uh, latitude. December so already, that's when so. I tilt them up, yeah. So, anyways. I thank you very much for the tour. I was just walking by. Yeah, nice. And for sure. uh, uh, what was your name again? Liam. Liam. And you? Wayne. Wayne. Sorry, I forgot. Nice didn't tell you. you. Yeah. I want to put a link up above for Liam uh, so you can get contact Liam if you'd like. Go go to his YouTube channel, um, Instagram. I'll put the links in the description below. Go watch the Baller Bus. Uh, he's got on his YouTube channel how he built it. So thanks, guys, for coming out and watching, eh? Take care, stay awesome.